we had a, a bridge across the Russian River that was about 60 feet long and then to cross the rest of the Russian River we had to push a lot of gravel and dirt into the river. Well, this is a summer crossing that's put in in the early part of the summer around the middle of May and from the fire station that's located on the north side of the bridge to a subdivision that's on the south side of the bridge and it cuts off about 20 minutes of travel time for the fire truck so they have much more rapid access for emergencies. During the fire season, it, it is a, a real hazard in this area. Very high fire danger, very limited access, a lot of trees, uh, a lot of houses that are, that are in the forest. This bridge can go in in the middle of May, sometime around May 15th, depending on the water levels. And it has to come out when the water starts coming back up and it starts raining, and usually that's sometime in the middle of November. The water where we're standing, it comes over our heads probably another 10 feet. So to, in order to put a, a permanent bridge in, we'd probably have to be 15 feet taller than where we're standing. And it probably would have cost two to three million dollars in that range to put a permanent structure in where the modular structure that we take out in the winter cost about $500,000 to install. The biggest problem with the Russian River is that um, it has a lot of dirt in it, a lot of sediment. Um, it's the pollutant of concern for the Water Quality Control Board and Fish and Game and National Marine Fisheries. And so when we're not putting gravel in, we're not putting sediment in the river. And so it's much better for the fish. Cal Fire is very happy with this and it cuts 20 minutes off of their transit time in for emergency services to houses that are located on the south side of the bridge.